today on the 411, we have a chat with Senator Kabir Garba Marafa, Senator representing Zamfara Central, on why he turned down his appointment as the Chairman Senate Committee on Population and National Identity. It's such a beautiful morning here at the nation's capital. I'm presently here in the office of Senator Kabir Garba Marafa, representing Zamfara Central. And we're going to be talking the leadership of the 8th Senate, um, his idea of, you know, what the, you know, focus uh, of the abuse should be about for the 8th Senate, as well as some of the extra creations of extra committees by the 8th Senate. It's going to be a wonderful and quite interesting chat, so don't go anywhere. Well, thank you so much, sir, for coming on the show. Thank you. Well, my first question would be if you can tell me what your own um, assessment of the 8th Senate is. The 8th Senate, the administration and our great party, APC, I think, are one and uh, the same thing and one can speak on them generally. There has been, you know, quite very high, large expectations from the general public, you know, uh, on the new administration. It is something that uh, a lot of people never thought you know, it's possible uh, to unseat a sitting government, you know, especially uh, in Africa. And uh, here we are, you know, God again bless uh, us to witness such, you know, a historical uh, landmark. You know, people expect a lot, especially given the slogan, you know, of uh, uh, our party, the All Progressive Congress, the APC. That is change, and uh, it has been changed and changed and changed all over the country until everything is changed. So naturally, people expect a lot. Uh, the executive, you know, started uh, pretty well, you know, on a very strong footing and uh, doing everything possible, you know, to uh, fulfill, you know, its own uh, side, you know, of the uh, of the bargain, <laughs> but. In the legislature, the story was a little different. Well, it's quite, I mean, it's, it's, it's public knowledge that we're one of the most vocal voices uh, talking about how you believe the leadership of the 8th Senate has been formed. And you, you have your own, um, you know, um, ideas as to how that might be, be misleading or might have its own effect, rebounding effects on the 8th Senate and, and the process. Now, by our rules, you know, that is the rules of the Senate, you know, voting in the Senate is always by division. And when you talk of division, you are talking of, you know, calling people by their names, you know, to stand up, you know, and say what their choices are. That is how we vote. Uh, uh, parliaments doesn't vote in secret. <clears throat> and even if they do, it has to be, you know, by their rules. Like, for instance, uh, the House of Representatives had reasons to change their rules, you know, in two... 11, uh, 2011, you know, when they came in, you know, from that type of voting, you know, to secret ballot for their own reasons. Now they have changed that one and uh, it is still applicable with them. In the Senate, it has always been by division. So when we saw that, then we knew that there was something wrong. Now, Order 110 states in very clear terms, you know, how the rule book, you know, can be amended. Now, those procedures were not followed. So we queried that, that why should this things uh, be uh, done in, uh, in, this such yeah, in such manner. Then uh, they said, okay, each new assembly comes with its own new set of rules, which we know is not correct because we went back memory lane and we saw how the sixth assembly, that is the assembly before the last one, you know, amended the rules to give uh, birth to uh, Senate Standing Order 2011 as amended. Now, you come out with Senate Standing Orders 2015 as amended. And you said uh, each Senate comes with its own rule book. Mm -hmm. So there is contradiction immediately because if it is just a new one, why are you putting the word amended? Mm -hmm. <laughs> If it's, it's, it, it's new, so if, just good. So if it is just new, you would just say Senate Standing Orders 2015. Hmm. Simple, you stop there. Then when you make amendment, you now say as amended. But at initial, you say Senate Standing Rules 2015 as amended, and they are giving you a new book. And when we went through it, we saw a lot of 
uh, the editings that uh, were done uh, quite illegally because uh, it's, uh, order 110 said this is how you are going to do it. When the 47 senators came to do the elections, you know, somehow it is known world over that the party with majority senators always produces the presiding officers. But suddenly in our own case, we had the Senate President from APC and the Deputy Senate President from PDP. And uh, Nigerians say, ah, <laughs> why? So, and we also said, why? Uh, you know, there is uh, an unholy marriage kind of, you know, uh, to, to, to sabotage, if I may use the word, you know, the, uh, the efforts of Nigerians who stood their ground that they wanted a change. You know, they voted this party out. And, uh, but suddenly some people, you know, connive, you know, to frustrate Nigerians, you know, to, to bring back that party, you know, back on the saddle. And uh, people were not particularly very happy about that. You were made the chairman, uh, um, you know, Committee on Population and, and National Identity, and you, and you turned that down. It's not uh, turning down, because when you say turn down is, when you turn down, you turn down a gift done to you in a proper way, that is, if you dash me money from your pocket or from your account, it's your money. Now, I have the choice of either accepting it or rejecting it. And the people will say he has accepted or he has turned down. But you can't dash me what you don't have. <laughs> If you just say you are dashing me money that you don't have, I don't even have to tell you that I reject. Because how can you do it? So the Senate doesn't have 65 committees. So it cannot appoint anybody in that committee. It cannot. Then secondly, our order 100 said the Senate president should form committees in consultation with the selection committee subject subject to the approval of the Senate. The Senate has set a very, I don't know, precedence. Very good, very bad precedence, I don't know. But we need to look inwards. Yes, the way we are going about it, I think uh, it's very, very wrong to, you know, I respect the institution I served in. So there are things we have to uh, I do with uh, some caution and everything, but I think the Senate needs to look inwards and uh, look at its activities. How can the Eighth Senate be curtailed? Because, you know, if, if they are supposed to be doing, um, you know, um, legislating for the whole country and we think, okay, there are issues that should be sorted out even with the Senate itself, how can the general public get involved in a, in a procedures like this? Well, I think uh, the general public is watching, I believe. We've raised enough observations, you know, and trying to call the attention of especially the leadership, especially the Senate president. The Senate is not a government house. Uh, uh, it constitutes of people, you know, that are equal. Uh, the only thing is a leadership is an inherent uh, you know, uh, this thing of uh, any human endeavor. Wherever you see people, you know, there must be a leader if you are to produce any desired good result. Yes. Uh -huh. So for that reason, one is picked to be, you know, the leader. It's not because he is smarter, he is more educated, he is stronger, he is richer. No. One of you will become the presiding officer, the rest, uh, you know, will be presided yes. over, you know. And that is the only thing. So I think uh, the Senate President is the greatest beneficiary, you know, of the rules, because it is the rules that elevated him to where uh, he is, you know, to uh, superintend over others. And if for any reason he feels or they feel they can flout the rules, uh, the day, <laughs> you know, other people start emulating him or them, you know, uh, it is going to be chaos. It wow. is that same book that uh, says where a senator will sit, how he will dress, how he will talk, uh, how he should behave, and everything about him. It is the book that says this is how you are going to do it. 
So, and if for any reason, you know, today it is uh, uh, flouted, tomorrow it is next tomorrow, the next day maybe some people will start uh, doing things the way they want to do it. And uh, before you know it, you know, the Senate would be, I mean, the place would be turned into something else. And I think it is not good for him especially and all of us uh, in particular. Thank you very much, sir, for coming on, Jamie. Really appreciate your coming. All right, so, well, I was having... That very, very interesting chat with Senator Kabir uh, Garba Marafa, and he is the senator representing the senator representing Zamfara Central. Um, it has been a very, very interesting morning. Well, don't go anywhere, Manu Michael, and we have a lot more lined up for you.